so I'm out here doing some wildlife photography and I haven't really done an intro or anything yet and I've already seen uh, I think it's a coyote or a fox den I saw some pup run around so I'm gonna set up my camera and kind of wait out here and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some photographs of them Now when it comes to wildlife photography, it doesn't get much better than Yellowstone National Park. With such a diversity of uh, wildlife, they've got carnivores, big herbivores, and all sorts of things in between. So it's kind of a wildlife photographer's paradise, so I'm very fortunate to be able to work and live here. Because every time on my time off, I try and come out with my camera as much as possible. Just like today, work this morning, and then uh, out for sunset because I was out in this area scouting out a few days ago and I ended up finding a coyote den. And I saw two pups there and I was able to get a couple pictures the other night. But uh, yeah, a couple actually pretty decent pictures. But I wanna do a little bit more filming of them. So today I'm going out again to sit for a couple hours because they were starting to get used to me last time. So hopefully they'll kind of get used to my presence. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go have a sit and then uh, see what I can see. So their den is just right up over that hill over there. And actually I just saw one pop out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer. So I'm gonna kinda slowly sneak up there and be quiet. I at least saw two the last time I was here and I'm hoping I'll see them again because I really wanna get pictures and video of them kinda like playing around and everything. But it might take a couple days of me sitting out here for them to get that used to me. But we'll see. So yeah, I'm just gonna creep up a little bit and then uh, wait. Now actually the light right now is pretty harsh, um, so it's not the best light for taking photographs of them right now, but it is starting to get a little bit overcast and it looks like the sun will go behind the clouds which will soften the light a bit and uh, also it'll get more towards sunset so it'll be a little bit uh, less harsh light as well and then also the sun is going to go behind the mountain soon which uh, then will have no sunlight at all but still a lot more balanced light so I should be able to get some uh, little bit better images. And then it's kind of hard to see, but the den is actually to the left, and where they come out and go in is behind a bush. But uh, I'm sitting at kind of a 90 degree angle to that, because there's this open area, kind of to the right of the den, where I've kind of seen them the other day and they were out and about in that area. And this definitely, I'll be able to get a better picture in that area, because it's more open, because we're in a lot of sagebrush right now. Um, but I might move to get a view of the den in a little bit, just to see if I can see them popping up and out. But uh, yeah, right now I'll sit here and hopefully they'll get used to me and do some movement. They're right there. Both of them are out of the den now. say moments like this are pretty rare. Um, I've never found an animal den like this before, let alone had much luck actually sitting and photographing wildlife. He ran out, he's just looking at me now. And I can tell these are coyotes for several reasons. Uh, the color of their fur, how it's kind of a little reddish brown. 
That's uh, what coyote pups look like. And also yesterday I did see the mom coyote around here as well, up on the hill behind me. And then as for the settings I'm using, um, just pretty basic stuff. I'm just shooting at a 1 640th of a second, uh, ISO 1250, and uh, just as open of an f-stop as I can have, so that'll be a f6.3. Um, yeah, and I'm just adjusting the ISO and the shutter speed as necessary, because I'm not too worried about noise, I'm more worried about sharpness. And the D850 here can actually handle noise performance at ISO 1000 and ISO 1250 really well. So yeah, just really nothing to it, nothing uh, too crazy with the settings. And I'm just, of course, focusing on the face and trying to focus on the eye of the animal to get that pin sharp. So I decided to pack it in and I'm heading in for the night. Um, it's starting to get a little bit late and the pups haven't came out in about a half hour hour. So uh, they might be done for the night, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I do know where the den is, so I'll come back another day and I'll uh, continue the video then. set up here and we got about an hour and a half before sunset so I'm just gonna wait and hopefully the uh, little coyotes show themselves and I'll be able to get some footage of them and some pictures so I'm heading back to the car now um, the coyote pups never showed in their den which I'm not sure if uh, my presence yesterday here bothered the mom and it moved them or if they're just not active right now but uh, I'll try back again tomorrow night and uh, probably sit for a couple hours um, it's kind of a stormy day. I think it might rain, so I might not be able to be out here too long. Um, but I did see some elk in the meadow to the right there while I was hiking in. Um, I kind of startled them, and they kind of all ran away, so I wasn't able to get any images or nothing. I'm just able to get a quick video clip of them. So I've been sitting here for a while, and then no coyote pups. Um, I think the mom might have moved them. Maybe she did uh, sense my presence here and figured I was a threat, so she moved them to a different location. Because I've been, this is my actually fourth time watching the den here. And the first time and the second time, the pups were out active this time. And then yesterday and today, they aren't out at all. So, uh, yeah, I think they might be moved. But actually, just now, I snuck down in the valley because there were some elk. And I photographed them a little bit. And uh, I think I might have got a couple decent shots and also some decent footage as well. But I was wearing my little uh, kind of camo wraps. I had it up around my head and one around my camera here and the elk seemed to not see me at all. They kind of knew I was there, but they couldn't figure out what I was because they kept looking at me, but they just didn't flee. So uh, yeah, I was, they were able to get kind of close because they kind of walked up on me, walked around, and then uh, eventually walked away. So this pretty much turned into a coyote pup video from the other day and then an elk video from today. Now it is very hard to make these wildlife videos just because you're not always guaranteed a sighting and even if you're guaranteed a sighting you're not guaranteed a good shot so it makes it challenging. Now elk are very common here in Yellowstone and they usually travel in herds and uh, it's early July so the males will start getting their antlers with the felt on them so the ones that I'm filming are just uh, females traveling together right now. Um, sometimes there's usually a male with the groups, but I uh, didn't see any. It was just four females, and before there was a couple more, they kind of walked uh, to the south, so this little herd kind of split up a little bit. But yeah, elk are just very abundant here in Yellowstone. They and then elk are in the deer family with a uh, moose as well, and they're actually larger than the deer, but a little bit smaller than the moose. And uh, yeah, just very common here in Yellowstone. You see them all the time, even in uh, Mammoth Hot Springs, like staying in my dorm. They're usually around the outside the dorm all the time. So when I'm walking home in the dark and all that, I gotta be careful. But they are pretty spectacular animals and they can get very aggressive, especially if they have babies. They've been known to charge people.
So I'm heading back now. I didn't see the pups, unfortunately. I really think the mom might have moved them, which is very unfortunate, but oh well. Um, I think I'll maybe give it one more day of coming out here, and if I don't see them, I'll start looking other places for wildlife. But yeah, still got to see them though and get some photographs. So the pictures I got the first day were better than the ones that I got the second day, just because it was very hot the second day, which was distorting the pictures a little bit. But yeah, still got to see some elk today as well, which was pretty nice. That's what Yellowstone's just great for wildlife photography. You go out and you never know what you're going to see or what you're going to be able to take a picture of, so it's always something different. But usually you do see a lot of elk and a lot of bison, so those start to get old. But uh, soon it's going to become the rut here, and the elk will shed the velvet on their uh, antlers, and then I'll be out photographing the elk again a lot, and hopefully be able to get some pictures and some video of that bull elk actually fighting. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.